So all you need is wood, basically. Uh, you don't need charcoal. Charcoal is way too expensive. You go through bags of it when you're trying to melt stuff. They don't tell you that in the videos. But anyway, here's my uh, my new burn, my new blast furnace. I've topped it off, uh, painted it. It's good to go. Uh, I'm gonna get some measurements in just a second. I cut off, uh, with the portaband, I cut off the bottom of an acetylene bottle after I depressurized it. Now I've got to drill into it and carbon steel won't even phase it. So I went out and bought a cobalt bit. It should chew right into it. All right, so this is, I made this with the flashing, uh, aluminum flashing that you put on your house. Uh, it comes in rolls at Home Depot, it's 24 inches wide. The diameter is 20 and a half. The inside diameter was 12 inches. I've got a separate video on how I made this. And it's actually very cheap to make. And that's it for now. These little tabs are good for pulling it off. I wouldn't want to do that later without my gloves. It's a handy device here. It's got a self-igniting tip. The device I have to lift the crucible out came off of the bucket it's sitting on top. So when you you want to compress it. So you want it to be a little wider than the hole. You compress it, slip it in the hole, and then you can lift it out. I just made this out of stuff I had laying around to hold the bottom. So basically, like that. Okay, today we get a little more serious. Got my hood and my apron. Yeah, that's Plaster of Paris. The sand's just there for runoff. 